Uh, good afternoon. And uh, my namesake, Mr. Rajesh of EPL, has done my life easier by talking about plastic waste management. Thanks to Mr. Khanna for this opportunity. There is no index because I have to speak for only next nine minutes. So straight jumping into the topic. Yeah, we'll start with uh, PET because that is the where I spent my maximum time in the last two decades. The message which you find in this slide is that although the currently globally the resin, virgin resin and recycled resin, both are being used, al growing at almost at the same percentage. But in the next two to three years, the recycled resin is going to grow at much faster rate. We look at 2022, one, almost like 1.7 million ton each of bottle to bottle date. Bottle to bottle means properly decontaminated, which can be used for direct food contact. And when you talk about flakes, means it is bottles to bottle, but basically for non-food application. Next two to three years, it is going to 50, in bottle to bottle, it is going to be around 55 to 56. At current capacity or usage of, you know, 20, 32 million metric tons, you can imagine that this 5% shift is such a big number globally. Now, coming closer home in India, we have a similar situation. Today, we have uh, five manufacturers in India who are making bottle to bottle grade. We'll see them in next slides. The recycling rate in India in PET is 92%, 90% plus done by NCL, a government agency which has established that balance 7 to 8% basically goes in landfills, get filled bottles exported or that material which cannot be, you know, retrieved from hills and other areas. Otherwise, it is almost like 92 to 94% recycling rate of PET in India. When you talk about PET, means pet bottles, pet sheets, and we are not talking about BOPT. It is basically we are talking about rigid packaging. And look at the turnover of the industry which is being projected. Today we are only five industries who are making bottle to bottle. If we meet here again in the same hall two years later, there would be 30 plus companies. Timelines may differ by one or two quarters, but that is the projection we have for India. If you look globally as well as in India, Polyolfins along with PET are going to grow. Recycled will focus at much the same rate, though little slowly, because PET industry has kind of matured. Relatively speaking, they have matured in terms of their systems, which are already in place. The promotions which have been done through RVM machines in terms of proper recycling and uh, <clears throat> infrastructure which is there in terms of machinery which can do this job. But nevertheless, even in polyolfins, people are not talking about decontaminated polyolfin bottles. My friends from Banyan Nation uh, will vouch for this, that even in for non-food applications, today people like HUL and others, they are asking for food grade. You will find my speed a little bit more because of the, this clock which is clicking in front of me. Okay, now mechanical recycling, this is the most common method which has been used for more than two decades, I would say three decades in India. The what you see as the decontamination which has been underlined, you have to use this process only and only when you want to use it for direct food contact. And it is here where all the European, primarily German, and you have from other countries also, people like Aremas, I mean, you name them Crohn's, who have the technology not only for washing, but also for decontamination. And BIS has now approved recycled PET, as a lot many friends from the brand owners and converters here would know that they have approved use of recycled, I mean FSI, sorry, for direct food contact. Coke is already using it both for Kinley as well as for CSD. Now, if you look at incineration and landfill, these are used only for difficult to recycle materials. When it comes to pyrolysis, we have already 10 plants. This is done in absence of oxygen and it is done primarily for polyolfins. Not that it cannot be done for PET, but the point is you have already value added applications in PET. You are actually upcycling PET compared to so called downcycling in the case of polyolfins. So it is not required there. And other fact is, Parallels is still not only India, globally we are on the learning curve. People are, I mean, saying that the technology suppliers themselves are learning. They are struggling between ROIs, the plant capacities, the relative cost of the petrochemicals globally, which is made from fossil oil. There are so many other things where the parallels is yet to compete. But five years down the line or ten years down the line, the futuristic bottle, 
would be a combination of mechanical and chemical recycling. Means I can, I would put some figure, say 85, 15, 85, 80 to 90 would be mechanical, the rest would be paralysis and other methods. Allow me to run through quickly. Now, these are other chemical recycling Reliance has been doing and this is something which is not so much developed in India, but pilot plants are running well, carboysis, they are running, running globally, these uh, technologies. When it comes to applications of the mixed plastics, again, difficult to recycle plastics, you have polymer blended bitumen roads. In fact, uh, not only this, in the daily outskirts area that Ghazipur used to, you, some of you must have seen the hills, hillocks of waste material which can be used. Even there for the last two years, almost 30% reduction of that landscape has been done and that materials have been used in Delhi Bombay Expressway. So the target is in the next three years, even those, all those hillocks of uh, materials which, which have been traditionally find not usable, these are going to be used in road construction. Thanks to Mr. Nitin Gadkari and team. They are very bullish about it that we can take care of that. Co-processing in cement kiln is a very well-known application. This is going on for more than a decade. And liquid fuels, basically converting plastic waste into fuels. Flexibles is one area where the use of multi-layer or the printing started basically first for functionality, then slowly but surely it got converted into aesthetics. That is where the problem came. Now, people, the brand owners, the resin manufacturers are all being forced by consumers, as some of my previous speakers told, to convert them either into mono materials or materials from the same family which can be easily recycled. Or combine PE with EVH or those materials which can go into the same recycling stream or which can be recycled by the same technology, say by NIR. To give you an example, PET aluminum laminate structure is today being replaced or being on the path of replacement by PE and EVH structure because this can be uh, separated or recycled by NIR. So this is not causing any recycling uh, issues. We have to be very careful in use of such some materials like biodegradable and those materials. I'm not commenting, but make sure that they create, uh, they solve the problem, not create more problems. Three minutes to go, my God. So this slide I will skip because this has already been covered. I started with 100 slides, Mr. Khanna Persuasion made them 40. Today what you're seeing is 19. pura manthan and so slides ka. So be with me for the next three minutes. India targets are very, very stiff because Hamare Sabne wo medal le liya, commit kar diya, there is no looking back. And 24, hopefully, the scenario is going to repeat in terms of uh, commitments. And if you look at 2028, today I'm talking about PET, we are at 1.65 million tons at the end of 31st March. 2028, we are going to double it. You make 30% commitment, it is going to be 2 million tons of recycled PET alone. Polyolfins are going to add to it. Imagine 2 million tons bottle to bottle. Today, if I tell you the number, you'll be surprised. We are not even 1 lakh metric ton in terms of bottle to bottle capacity. So there is a huge, huge latent potential. But don't talk about uh, ROI is another thing. Mr. Mani and other people are going to hack me. Okay. Trends, yes, it is on the up. We are going to talk about 30%, but people are still struggling with 15%. The whole issue is consistent quality. Not only quality consistent good quality that that is where design for sustainability all this have been talked about and technically i don't have time to talk about it there are five people who are making this b2b people some of my friends are there in the first row almetab esther ganesha ril and sri chakra if you want to know more about these they are better equipped than me but i can definitely support them point is that there's no going back the real problem is in terms of sorting, washing, and decontamination. Even sorting, we have people like uh, Istitwa in Ahmedabad who are developed machines based on AI. So there are technology suppliers closer home also. Coca-Cola already using it for water and CSD. Alpla and others have joined hands. And this is where, uh, you know, it is 100% recycled pet. Kalko, you a bottle of water, you will blackish. Irrespective of whosoever brand is there, I will think twice to drink it but these have been already commercially established and being used against virgin resin. Recycling challenges, reverse logistics, scale of operations, high entry barrier for B2B projects for low entry barrier for non-foods. We have a lot of opportunities, as I said, in terms of numbers which have just scaled. Brand owners are joining heads, people are willing to pay a little more. 
there are export opportunities. Last but not the least, government is supporting us. Now, when I was in Reliance, I mean, I'm not taking the opportunity to tell you, but the slides will show you, we're doing a lot of promotion to reverse vending machines. And this is where NGOs who used to hand twist, you know, arm twisters, we used to tell them PET is safe, recycle bottles, empty bottles used to go back, and things like that. To conclude it, yes, availability of recycled polyolefin, most important, why we, you say so much potential, so much things, but why the hell we are not moving? Availability of bailed bottles, a good quality bailed bottles in sufficient number, that is the crux of the whole thing. Now the problem is, let me conclude with you and me. The whole thing is, I'm just putting it on a, adding a human, human aspect to this. We all say, what, what else we, we are going to do it? At five o'clock, six o'clock, we are all free. It is like, no, shole coin, both sides same. But in reality, both the sides of the coin are not same. We are either sattvic or rajasic, whether we do the recycling or we don't do the recycling at our homes, in our own ecosystems. So I'm going to request you to kindly stand up and take a small pledge along with me that will make sure that my next speaker I don't have to wake you up. Can we get up all in your seats? And it will not take Mr. Khanna more than half a minute. I don't know where are the photographers, but if you can put your right hand straight, your right hand, not mine, your right hand. And if you can kindly repeat after me. Come on, boss, come on. I pledge to commit myself towards a more greener and sustainable world. I promise on this platform today to do whatever is possible in my individual capacity to make it happen. And this is not my original idea. My friend, Mr. Amit, would be there in the audience. He did it in some presentation. I just copied and pasted it. So friends, thank you so much for this opportunity. And this is the first time the, the time was, was clicking in front of me. Thank you so much.